Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix slow motion shoot the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to change the refresh rate to 60 Hz or you can set it as per your monitor refresh rate in video settings file. Now for this open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data folder. Now if you don't see app data on the top, click on view, select show and then put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Open the local folder. Now open 2K sports folder. Now open NBA 2K25 folder. Open video settings. Make a right click. Open with notepad. And over here you can see the refresh rate. In my case, it's already set to 60. You can set it to 60. Then go to file. Then click on save. And then check. Now if your monitor refresh rate is like something else, like maybe it's 144, you can type in 144. But in my case, I will set it to 60. If your monitor refresh rate is something else, you can type in over here and then go to file and then click on save. Now, once you save it, make a right click on video settings and then go to properties, put a check on read only over here, hit apply, click on OK. Next time when you want to make changes, make sure that you uncheck read only, then only you can make changes. Now, the next step is to press Alt plus enter or you can spam Alt plus enter. So once you launch the game, just Keep on tapping like Alt plus Enter. Just spam it and then check. Next step is to change Windows Display Refresh Rate to 60 Hz. So you can open Windows Settings, go to System, and then go to Display, and then scroll down, click on Advanced Display, and here you can see choose a refresh rate. Now if this is set to 120, you can try 60 Hz, and then you can check. Now the next step is to switch to full screen mode and try native resolution. Now for this, go to the game and then go to features and then go to video settings now over here if it is set to window you can try full screen window mode and then apply the settings select yes and then select the native resolution so here you can see display resolution now you can check your windows display resolution so first of all open windows settings and then go to this system and then go to display. In my case, the recommended is 1920 into 1080p. So select the same resolution over here. So in my case, I will select 1920 into 1080p. Make sure that you apply the changes. Still not working. The next step is to turn off or turn on, turn on or turn off the VSync and lower down display resolution, video settings, and you can even try window mode this time. So you can go to video settings. Now over here you can see vertical sync. Now if this is off, you can turn it on and then check. If it is already on, you can turn it off and then check. But make sure that you apply the settings. And then lower down resolution. So you can even try to lower down resolution over here. And then apply the settings. Select yes. So you can go to full screen mode. And if full screen mode does not work, in that case, you can switch to window mode and then select yes and then lower down. Now scroll down and turn off HDR over here and then turn off ray tracing. Now here you can see overall quality. Now if this is set to ultra, you can set it to high. You can even try medium. And once you try medium, apply the settings and then check the performance. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website. Now on this website, make sure that you select your series, select your graphic card over here. Now once you select your graphic card over here, make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on find. Now, once you click on find, you will see this page, the latest well, the latest driver will be on top. So right now it's 560.94. Now click on view over here and then click on download. And once the download is complete, you can run the exe file. Once you run, run the exe file, you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. Now select next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. 
Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Click on browse and then go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in, in C drive then this is the location. And then you can open the NBA 2K25 folder. Select the game exe file. Click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Once the game is added, click on the game, click on options, select high performance over here. Now click on save and then launch the game. Now, if you have a desktop, desktop users, make sure that your HDMI or display cable is connected to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the motherboard slot, because the motherboard slot, if you have a dual graphic card, it is connected to the inbuilt graphic card that is Intel. So in that case, make sure that you connect the display cable to the graphic card slot and then check. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So open Windows settings and then go to Windows update. Click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the slow motion issue. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.